we have been transmitting messages to space for decades, ever since the invention of electromagnetic communication. And in the 1970s, we even did so on purpose. The Arecibo message was a two-dimensional image sent as a one-dimensional stream of electromagnetic pulses that contained information about our ways of living, our genetic components, our location in the galaxy, and more. But could it really be possible that intelligent beings exist that can receive our messages, decode, and understand them? They would have needed to guess that such one-dimensional message was actually meant to be a two-dimensional image. To address these questions, scientists have thought deeply about interstellar communication. They've been asking what messages should be sent, how should they be sent, and how might the receiver distinguish between an actual purpose-sent message and space noise. This work has led to important breakthroughs. Previous work has shown that tools developed in the field of algorithmic information theory can be used to characterize complex objects from random and simple, and even distinguish between objects produced by intelligent life and those produced by nature. And more recent work has advanced our understanding even further. Recently, a team of scientists led by a Cambridge and Oxford researcher has found that in non-random data, information encodes some of its physical properties, even in the face of significant noise, and that random perturbations can unveil the message structure even before knowing anything about the content of the message. For example, one type of these perturbations is playing with the length and height of these images, even before knowing that it's a two-dimensional image or anything about their lengths, by traversing dimensions from lower to higher, starting from one dimension, then two, three, and so on. Turns out that the closer to the dimension in which the message was originally coded, if it was causally generated and not the result of randomness, it will have lower complexity and higher information content as opposed to look random in any configuration. The original embedded configuration, or a similar symmetric one, will display the lowest complexity and highest content. These advancements raise the likelihood that tools from the field of algorithmic information dynamics could be used to identify and possibly decode messages from afar. Moreover, they show that aliens with a basic understanding of the same fundamental mathematics would have some chance at understanding what we send them. And they increase our chances at understanding messages from alien sources, even if the message comes deconstructed and embedded in a different form, without information about its dimensions and proportions. This work has built a new connection between syntax and semantics that may help find bio and techno signatures in the universe. And it advances a theoretical and practical framework that relates information, complexity, geometry, and semantics that can be extended to multiple uses in cryptography and information theory.